welcome to another episode of Bretman the Science. Bitch, 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 bitch. Bretman the Science Bitch. <laughs> bitch, that shit was so tight. Say the turtles. That shit was so tiring. But welcome back, bitch, to Bretman the Science Bitch. I know it's been a year. I did not forget about you guys. But bitch, guess what? Instagram sponsors Bremen the Science Bitch now, so don't even motherfucking get it twisted. So thank you so much to Instagram for sponsoring Bremen the Science Bitch. Bremen the Science Bitch will be a weekly program, so bitch, don't miss class. So today, we will be discussing the science behind pearls. How you ask, what bitch, if I... Let me fucking talk. Like, fuck. Hold your questions till the end. I ordered all these oysters when I was lit. So I ordered all of these really cute oysters, as you guys know, and they're supposed to have pearls inside. I also ordered this big bitch right here. So just a size comparison. Girl, she thick. So let's explore the science of pearls. But before anything, safety first. But also put yourself first, you guys. I know that I know that got real deep real quick, but put yourself first. We put your foot safety first. Did that make sense? Yeah. Before we open it, how are pearls made? Well, let me explain. This is the oyster in my hand right now. Usually a particle, sometimes sand, sometimes honestly a piece of motherfucking shit. Goes inside the oyster, it creeps in there, and the oyster gets irritated by it. And, you know, if you're irritated, you obviously have to do something about it. You know what I mean? And the oyster creates this thing called Mother of Pearl. If you really want to be scientific, it's called Naker. And it creates layers and layers of Naker, and it creates Pearl. So that's basically how pearls are made. Now, there are two different types of pearls. There's natural pearls and there's culture pearls. Natural pearls are basically what I explained to you guys. The sand or the particle naturally goes inside the oyster. But culture pearls, the people manually put the particle inside the oysters. So, yeah. But you can usually tell which ones are culture and which ones are natural if you guys have really special, like, telescopes. Which, nobody got time for that. And what you're seeing today are cultured pearls from Amazon. Uh -huh. Okay, let me shut the fuck up. Let me give you guys like a little ASMR moment. Let me open more. <laughs> this shit is fucking exciting. <gasps> Bitch. She said pearl. Yes. I really want to find a blue one. So I'm not going to stop until I find a blue one. A bunch of oysters later. Now we have this bitch right here. She's the biggest one in the pack. So let's see if she fucking disappoints. Oh my god, bitch. <laughs> bitch! Oh my god, they're all colorful. <laughs> bitch, you fucking thought. Now the moment that we've all been waiting for, this big bitch right here. While I'm opening up this big bitch, let's discuss more science about pearls. Did you guys know that the most expensive pearl to have ever been sold is... 32 million, and guess what? It's from my auntie, Miss Motherfucking Maria Antoinette, and it's her pendant. And yeah, bitch, she was 132 million motherfucking dollars. Like, same bitch. Bitch! Can you open up? I'm getting fucking mad! Can I? Ugh. Oh my god, this is too much. <sighs> okay, I think she's gonna open up. <sighs> Bitch, she got fucking pearls for days, dog. You guys are probably wondering what it smells like. I've never fucking smelled pussy, but I feel like this is what fucking pussy smell like. 
No offense. Oh my god. Okay. So she just be having some pearly shells from the ocean, she said. Wait, is there pearls inside this shit? Ew, ew. Oh, it has like acne. Look at this shit. Okay, let me take one out. Like this. And you pop that fucker out like that. Ew. Disgusting. Oh my god, that, that's kind of, kind of satisfying. Oh my god, this smells so bad right now. Bitch, come out. Ew. So these are all the oysters I found and the small ones and the big one had all of these really cute white pearls. So what can we learn from pearls and oyster? Today I learned that I'm kind of like a pearl because I started off annoying the oyster and then the oyster was trying to deal with me and then I gained my value and you know, I became expensive after that. So yeah. I started off irritating, and now I'm rich. I'm like a pearl, I wanna fly away.